a fourth example of the importance of climate, and the last one I will present today is the influence of major storms such as hurricanes. In the following video clip, two NASA scientists discuss the forces that cause major storms. Tell us about the energy within a hurricane. The energy in the hurricane comes from the ocean, of all the places, who would think? But the really warm water in the ocean, that causes the water to evaporate. And when these molecules leave the surface of the water, they take some heat energy with them. And as that heat energy gets up into the hurricane, those water vapor molecules condense and they release their heat into the atmosphere. And that's how the hurricane gets its power. That warm air we see in the center of the storm, the eye, that comes from the ocean, basically. This next visualization shows a simulation from a global atmosphere model for August 2005. The colors depict the energy in the winds, with red being the greatest. In early August, the camera focuses on the North Pole, showing the swirling winds caused by the Coriolis effect. Then the camera moves down toward Africa, which is the birthplace of many tropical storms. Finally, the camera moves across the Atlantic as many of the storms form during 2005, ending with Hurricane Katrina, which killed at least 1,836 people and caused over $80 billion in damages. Gloom and misery everywhere. Stormy weather. Just can't get my poor self together. I'm weary all the time. To summarize the first sequence, number one, climate is defined as decadal trends in the weather. Number two, numerical charts provide pictures that are worth a thousand words. Third, climate is important for weddings, wars, ice, and storms.